Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela and this is my third try at this video because I don't really know how to talk about such a serious topic. Um, I've never done this sort of thing on my channel, but today's topic, like you saw in the title, is segregation, racism in America and what it was like growing up Asian in America. So let's just get right into it. So I live in the Midwest, which isn't particularly known for its diversity. You know, we're mostly just white vanilla here. That was made pretty clear to me as an elementary schooler, which is when I first realized that I look different than everyone else. When I would bring lunch, my classmates would be like, ew, what is that? Why, are, why aren't you eating Lunchables, you know? That was kind of what my elementary school life consisted of, but I didn't really fully realize how different I was until I moved school districts in eighth grade to the school that I am at right now. And that is because before I went to a school that was only 2% Asian. So I didn't really experience like, or like fully experience racism and segregation and all of that stuff. But at the school I'm currently at, it is quite obvious. Another thing that kind of bothers me sometimes is the stereotype that Asians should always be kind of only good at studying, um, like not good at really anything else, which is stupid. Like you can be smart and be good at other things or like other things, but it's kind of an underlying stereotype. I don't know if it's just overall a stereotype, but it's definitely there at my school and that Asians should be kind of quiet, socially awkward, shy introverts who just basically know how to study and don't like or don't do anything else. Growing up, I think that kind of made me insecure because I wouldn't really say I fit the Asian stereotype necessarily. In elementary school, I was always that one annoying kid in class who would always get called out by the teacher for talking. And now as a sophomore, I still definitely don't fit that Asian stereotype of like, kind of nerdy, quiet. I hate math, like math is my least favorite subject. And I've definitely had white kids say to me like, you're Asian, you're supposed to be good at math. I've even had Asian kids tell me that, which is kind of a shock to me, but I guess everyone just buys into the stereotype when they hear it a lot. Um, like you're Asian, why don't you like math? You're supposed to like math. And there's also other things. I'm interested in tons of things other than school, like music and not only classical music, which is also kind of a stereotype for Asians. Most of the Asians I listen, to, I know, listen to a lot of other genres of music, including myself. And I also like fashion, which is not really a popular thing to like among Asians. Sometimes I guess I wish that I fit the stereotype more so that I could be just this good Asian kid. But most of the time, I almost try not to fit into the stereotype because I really hate that people categorize Asians as a whole like that. My final thing that I want to touch on in this video is going to be the latest trends that involve Asians. So particularly the fox eye trend, um, if you don't know what the fox eye trend is, it's basically a trend where white people like to, like are posing in pictures and they kind of pull their eyes back like this and make fox eyes and make their eyes like slanted. And I've seen a lot of people comment on the internet like, why are Asians getting fired up about this? It's just a, like, it's just a trend, it's just a look. But it might just be a trend and a look to you but to pretty much all of the Asians I know, they got made fun of in elementary school like that. White kids would follow them around at school, pulling their eyelids back, saying, oh, I'm you, your eyes are so small, your eyes are so long. And so for someone to start a trend that is kind of enveloping a, an Asian feature that has gotten a lot of Asians bullied or teased in the past or even right now is not okay. It's just not. And I hate it when people are just like, oh, it's just a joke. Why are you making it a big deal? 
because it is a big deal. Slanted eyes are a traditionally Asian physical feature and you shouldn't be making that into a trend by pulling your eyes back because that is how me and a lot of other Asians got made fun of. That's all for this video. I hope this wasn't too bad. I'm gonna go back and obviously edit it and look at it and I hope this video turned out all right. But thanks for watching. That was really nerve wracking and now I'm sweating, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you were Asian American like me or just Asian in general living in a predominantly not Asian country, I hope you could relate to some of the things that I said. And if you are not Asian, welcome to this video. I hope you had something to take away from this video. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. On my way to heaven, when I walk, I spit that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so hard that.